This is a follow-up video to one of my previous tutorials for creating a simple quest indicator. I will show you a quick script that can be applied to almost any object for simple rotating and or floating up and down. If you would like to see how I created this quest indicator in Blender, there is a link for the first tutorial in the description below. As you can see, the quest indicator is rotating and floating up and down. I wrote a C sharp script making it very easy to change the settings as well as being versatile enough so that it can be used on different game objects, not just a quest indicator such as this. The code is simple and clean. There are a few commented lines to explain what the next line of code is going to do. I did hard code a few default settings for speed and height, but they can be changed to what works best for you or simply changed within the inspector. To save you from having to type it in, I will leave a link in the description below so you can download the code. Selecting the checkboxes will enable rotating or the floating motion. You can check both or just the one you want to use. The rotating speed can be changed. The higher the number, the faster the rotation. Using a minus sign will cause the object to rotate in the opposite direction. Under the up and down section, adjusting the height setting will set how big of an up and down motion you would like to see. The speed will adjust how fast it will go between the height setting adjustment. A minus sign here has no visual effect. If you change your pivot point from being in the center of the object, you could have the object orbit around that point. Quick and easy to use and simple enough to apply to almost any game object. Just download the code, drag and drop the code onto your game object, and then adjust the settings to meet your needs. Thank you for watching and if you found this helpful, please like, comment and subscribe below.